I just need something to sink my teeth into. Me? Of many thoughts. I know Asterion's standing night. behind you, but hey! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, f I'm so sorry. Dun, 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 by the hey, internet! It's Jessica, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, I've been exploring the Shadowlands because I'm nervous that I'm gonna miss something, and I think I got most of it. I'm gonna double check, but. Generally speaking, um, Catholic Thorm's ancestors, family members, whatever you want to say, are all over the place. And we learned a lot since we helped Halson save Thaniel. And this has been a long time coming because they were- he was actually here when they first fought Catholic Thorm. And ever since they locked him away, the lands have been cursed because of them. So Halson does feel guilty that, you know, he was involved in this and he couldn't, like, save everybody, let alone save Thaniel. But now we have him. And Daniel told us the only way to get rid of the curse is to get rid of Catherick Thorne. So I really need to start this because there's no other way through to Baldur's Gate because his freaking army is sitting at the gate. So, okay, I think I've done all I can. I'm hoping that I, I did, but we're going to head over to the Moonrise Towers right now. And I'm going to focus solely on finding where the tieflings are first and then possibly head back to get the relic because I know I can't face Catholic without this so i hope i'm doing this right i'm scared though <laughs> let's walk through the gates and see what we find i don't like that there's like just oh hello adept zealot malik okay so he's got some people standing guard um let's see if i can trick them because again they do th most of the absolute think i'm a part of this cult right so Maybe this will be fine. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, okay. One blessed like myself. Yes. What news, true soul? Ooh, I don't know if I should mention the camp because I'm kind of worried about. Well, how about near? Because he did. I know he's technically dead. But let's say, if they have something about this. I have a message for Nia. Who should I report to? You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Okay. Let's hope this Zrell likes what we have to say. In her name. Praise the absolute. <laughs> All right, that worked. I'm glad. Oh God, they got some ghouls. What do they have over here? Damn. Oh my God. That is creepy, though. All right, let me go this way. Listen, they think I'm one of them, so this shouldn't be a problem. Like there is only the absolute. Okay. Oh, that's grotesque. <laughs> Don't stare. You'll only encourage it. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a Syrian to say that. Listen, I know I'm supposed to go up to the front, but I like going the unconventional route just to take these people by surprise. I wonder. Should I be going? I'm kind of nervous now. What's over here? Okay, I just need to- I just need to get to know where they're holding all the tieflings prisoner, and then I can, like, make a plan for this. Alright. Oh. There can be no doubt. This is the place. Yep. This is where we'll discover the secrets of the absolute. Right. Oh, they're great. They have a scrying eye. Of course they do. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. Uh, of course. Um, I just need to walk around. Okay, who do we have here? All these people. Hi, you sell things? Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me and here you are. Carlac, isn't it? What? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. You guys know each other? Carlac, who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. Oh. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. 
The fact that she knows where I am or where I might be going doesn't exactly delight me. Oh god, I'm sorry. Is she a threat? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half devil. Impossible oh. to read. I wouldn't well. have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? A bit good joke. <laughs> Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? I don't this even know what handy. soul coins do. Can anyone explain that to me? What do you want soul coins for? I'll explain later. Away from prying ears. But trust me, you'll be into it. Okay, I'll trust you, Carlac. Let's have it then. Sure. But she did have a condition. Oh God, For what? every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? Oh, God. Fine. Get, get on with it, then. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. Okay. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to Sorry, be I can't take this guy seriously with his mustache. <laughs> by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. I'm just gonna be next coin, please. Listen, has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near... Never winter. Okay. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Next coin, please. I Last don't want to say anything about it. <laughs> a boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Okay. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. Yeah, I, I actually want to see what you have, sir. Sentinel weapon? Do I, I might give this a car like actually. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Yeah. Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Oh, that's why she wants it. Okay. Aren't you afraid of this thing going overload in your engine? Nah. It'll be fine. Honey, we still haven't found the blacksmith. I don't even know where he is. Got a coin slot in your heart or what? Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Okay. <laughs> uh, intriguing. Next time we're in battle, uh, we'll make sure to get one. Fuck yes. <laughs> now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Me? Many I know Asterion's One standing line. behind me, but hey! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got more. There's more people here. Hey, there's another guy with a shop. <gasps> oh, it's that lady! Isn't this the lady from the goblin camp? There's so many people I want to talk to. I just have so many questions for everybody. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. 
How can I be of service, true soul? Wait, I know you! I bought my staff from you! New face. We've met before at the goblin camp. Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I see, I see what you're getting at. Anyway, really, you saw nothing at all? Nothing worth repeating. Corpses don't much go in for commerce. Here, though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together. And quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? Drop the act. What are you doing here, actually? I'm not the one putting on an act, true soul. Though I'd mind how well you mouth your prayers. Spend enough time in this place, and you might just start to believe them. She probably has ulterior motives to sell things. When I'm only here to serve. Anything to trade, true soul? Yeah, I figured. Let me see what you got. Why does she have Minthara's clothes? I'm buying that. <laughs> I am gonna have to eventually buy new armor for everybody. It's just I don't know what to get. Can we talk to Mi Mig? Is that her name? Mig? Hush. Meat sounds above. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is it you? No. Mig only small. This huge in walls above. I mean, I kind of believe Maybe. her because, like, I did oh, hear things. I just don't know what it is. You okay. You find meat. You share. Okay. Sure. That was weird. What's in here? Oh, that's the outside. Okay, wait. Better not be cursed. I have a secret hidden treasure somewhere. Where's that supposed to be at? Cracking wall? <gasps> yeah, wait, can we break this? Shit, let me save. It's headshot. You shouldn't have tried me. <sighs> Immune to slashing damage. Shit. At least things have stayed interesting. Immune to everything? Is that what you're immune to? Slashing, piercing, acid. Oh my god, so what do you what do you do take then? Okay, so the tieflings are somewhere here. Because I don't want to go to whoever I'm supposed to freaking talk to yet until I figure out where they are. This is the I should speak up. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Okay. Fortunately for you. The slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. <laughs> um. Murder every single one you find. I intend to. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. <laughs> Damn. But this one. This one I toy with. I slice. I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. Good luck with the hunt, Steel Claw. Luck is not needed. Merely patience and a thirst for blood. Hunt fast and hunt well. Uh, all right. Yeah, there's a there's a mind flare tadpole there. This looks. Oh, this is the other side of where we were um, when I was first entering. Araj Blodra. Hello. Trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. What services? Why are you interested in my pale friend? <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I mean, it's kind of obvious that he is anyway. <laughs> potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. That's not... what kind of... I, I don't want to say on behalf of a Asterion because like, you know, I, I'm, I don't want to do that. What kind of potion is this exactly? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together. Hmm? And what exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. 
A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Even my blood, too, huh? Okay, if it's my blood, F it, you know, I'll try it, but I don't, I don't want to speak on Sterian's behalf. Just a little prick, and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Okay, thanks. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. <laughs> I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? Yes, he's all mine now. Excuse me, he's his own person. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Get back! Do you have a name, Spawn? I hate that they're addressing him like that. But hold on. Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Whoa, I knew this I'm was going to go that way. You want to be bitten. To feel your life's blood slipping away. <laughs> to dance on the edge. I, can I really shame her? Death. Because like I was so excited when Astarian bit yes. me. <laughs> I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. Oh, forever increases for it. But it's yours. If you bite me. It's up to Sterian. to decline. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? No. If he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to. I'm not going to force him to do it. Low key, it's a little bit shocking that he's not going after it when she said, oh, you can get more strength. Like, I'll upgrade your strength forever. It's not like a one-time thing when you drink the potion. I strongly believe he doesn't want to do it because there's so much trauma with him being a vampire. To bite another in terms of like, I think she's asking, asking for it. I know she's asking for it. In, but in terms of she wants to feel what it feels like to like be on the brink of death. When we let Asterion bite us, I'm doing it out of the necessity to keep him, you know, his strength up. Because he needs to as a vampire. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Not because, oh, I want to die or something like that. I think that's kind of freaking him out. I don't know, just like from observations. Considering the things that he had to do for Kazador, I imagine he probably had to take so many people to Kazador to kill them, right? So I feel like that's kind of like what's relating to this and why he's saying no. He said no, there's nothing to more to be discussed. How very disappointing. Girl, you got my blood, get out of here. All right, got a new robe and I got one for Gale too because I, I feel like I've been ignoring him, you know? <laughs> Man, what's in this door? Oh, there's the tieflings! All that is at stake, considering how close we are. Oh, Catholic Thorm's in there! Oh, f wait, I don't want to go in there yet because, like, I I want to see everything before I talk to the dude. Oh, dude, he's actually there. What the hell is that? Mucus? Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. That's what the, the, the troll was saying to us. She's like, there was something above us. Ew. Okay, let me see what I can see with these people. This is the kitchen. These, they look like they're under hypnosis. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> Now, how can I help you? Barnabas? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me oh, when girl. I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. These people really think they're doing a good thing, don't they? Better. I thought the Absolute accepted us all as we are. She gathers many threads for her design. But it is still her design. And Barnabas has found his place in it. Observe. Uh, okay. Barnabas, sweetie. 
Come show what a good boy you are. I just think you're using the worm in its head. What would you like him to do? Oh, you're gonna let me choose? How about a dance? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. It does not want to do this. You're just control. Yeah, you're controlling the tadpole. No, Barnabas. We talked about this. Um. <laughs> What if I just do this? Ah, oh, shit! Come on! I don't have enough wisdom for this. I need Gale for this. Like a rope drawn taut beneath the blade, the connection simply. I figured Carlyke and Asterin would like that because no. they know what it's like to be under someone's control. Barnabas, darling. No! Another parasite. All trace of restraint is gone. Oh god. Barnabas has tasted blood and once more. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Easy, I freed you. I'm a friend. I don't want to fight this thing if we don't have to, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, wait, are these for- oh yeah, they are too. I think I did a good thing then. I'm gonna take that. All right, at least we have some sort of allies, right? Oh wait, this is where the treasure is, remember what I'm looking for? Maybe I can jump in here somehow? Something over there. See if we can get in Through a narrow crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. What the f What the f is that? Oh, sh come on, you've got to be joking. No, 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 no. Do again, do again. You can't quite catch a glimpse, but you recognize this feeling. The same alien presence you felt on the Nautiloid. I'm a reach in. This is probably a mistake. Your awareness unfolds, expanding through every wall in the tower, every mind. Is this like a, a mind hive? living network extending down into the dark, where something wakes uh what is that i don't know tendrils snap like iron <gasps> cords around your wrist that presence in your mind looms large closer now oh oh f i ain't getting my arm out of there go limp and ride it out this is probably a mistake too but i gotta try it <laughs> come on You stop resisting, your arm bending with the movement of the flesh. And suddenly, an opening appears. With a soft sucking sound, your hand pulls free. Ew! The flesh. I imagine if I were to try to pull my truth. arm out, it'd probably like sever it or something. What the f? Am I okay? Let me try it next time. Look fun. <laughs> Did I get something from that? Guidance? Nothing, right? Oh my god, that was gross. Oh, they know. How close we are to the conclusion of our efforts. I ask you again. Hold, hold the phone. Wait. Is J.K. Simmons voicing Castle of Thorn? Because I had no idea. Is he? Because that sounds like him. That's actually really cool. <laughs> All right, let me talk to these people because I didn't mm, get to talk to them have yet. A word. Back of the line. I'll be the first of us to swear to the general. Oh. Not all of us survived the shadows to stand here. 
my wife, my sons, they were unworthy. That, if that's what you believe, what the hell? These are the prisons. Do you think the tieflings are in here? Maybe? There's some guards. Oh my god, I feel like we should not be in here, but I'm too curious. <gasps> there they are! Let me guess. The absolute is the only way. Don't bother. No, you're Why the- Why not you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? Zevlor? What, what happened? Listen, your brother Roland is alive. He's at last light in. He made it? He's all right. Told you. He's too stubborn. He to almost die. died if I didn't He's save his back. stupid ass. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. Uh, um, I have per- <laughs> I have permission from Balthazar. Ask him. We did met Balthazar and he's not here right now, so... Your association with Disciple Balthazar inspires respect and a touch of fear. You are free to speak to the prisoners. That's right, back up. Well, let me continue talking to them. You want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. Okay. What are the gnomes planning? I can't read bloody minds. Go on, before someone sees. All right, my bad. Okay, so it's you, your brother. Who else is in here? These two as well. You ordered that guard about as if you were the absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? I'm here to help you escape. Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Because I met your friends in the Underdark. Barkus told me you were here and asked me to help. Barkus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among Yeah, sheep, don't say it out loud! <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. Yes, yes, I've heard of you. Um, Jessica, pleasure to meet you. We've got a plan for us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools, that head case of a warden robbed ours, but anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Okay. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Okay, so we need- that's how we're gonna break them out. Let me just see if there's like anyone else here. God. But we're gonna have to like find materials to- Like, what is this thing? That's what I wanna know. What the hell is that about? We're going up to it, because I'm curious. That door's locked, so we can't even get in if we wanted to. What the hell? I imagine if we fall in there, we're all dead. Oh, we can climb this. I didn't think we could. What the F is up here? Hello. If we can just destroy this scrying eye. This is a restricted oh! area. Time to explain yourself or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Oh shoot. Can I attack them? It's just these two, right? Okay. We might be able to like get out of this. We might be able to get out of this. If we're, I have to destroy this thing first. Spill some blood. There we go. Now we don't have to worry I about it. This. Want another? Oh damn! Hang on. No. Uh. Shoot. Um. Oh, what? <gasps> Damn, the whole thing is too low, or else I was shoved out of the window. She went invisible. Oh no. Take 
Okay, this is not good. What's this? Oh no. There we go. Can't afford to let up. Alright, she's almost down. She's almost down. Nothing important is ever easy. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. It's okay. <laughs> Damn, she really hates Asterion. Nice. All right. Maybe we can find something for them in here. Oh, hey. Maybe I can just like let them out normally. You know what I mean? We'll never believe this been caught breaking the rules you have a horrible feeling the next thing broke attack what now there we go i want to make I sure everybody joins in cost. and not just me Oh my god. This is my happy place. Wait, is there more coming in? Because like I, I just want it to be this guy. I don't want the others to know that we're doing this. Here we go. Wait, what is this? Moonrise prison communal cell lover? <gasps> we can just get them out. We don't need a blow up. Good here, right? We can just empty it. Okay, the matter is now if we can make sure none of the guards are here. That's all we gotta do. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. That eye is done. Oh my god, we can do this. I can actually free them before going to Kethra Thorm. It's a matter of taking- how many guards are out here? So it's this one guy, right? Who's just like roaming around? Okay, that's one. All right, you guys are ready to blast this guy to smithereens? <laughs> Let's see. Not enough. What? Under their noses. again stop this or my friends will stop at avenging you grip. girl i don't think they care um. come on can't stay idle Damn it, Shadowheart, why? Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not good, that's not good. Kill her, kill her. There we go. Now it's just this thing. Right? Wait, you're not dead? There we go. Oh my god. This is so tricky, but we have to do this. Oh no, there's one more over here. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I need them all to like come into one area. There we go. Let's get this over with. <laughs> uh, there we go. 
Now we got it. Listen, I have to do this as, as fast as possible before more come. Uh, I've got it. Make sure how far you can go. Oh, <gasps> no. Okay. Let's have some fun. They won't know what bit them. Do it again, do it again. Okay. Good. Oh, no, nah, not this shit again. You just have to get him. God, I might have to skip her turn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you get him? Come on, come Go, Carlock. Show him who you are. <gasps> Holy crap. Anything of use? Now it's a matter of okay, now the guards are gone, but when they get out of here, won't people notice them getting out? That's what I'm worried about, too. What the F is in this room? I'll give it a shot. Oh shit, this is the torture room. Plant one foot in front of the other. You're an absolute. I have to kill her too. <laughs> straight. Make them fear you. Okay. So you. And Seems you like too. A good moment to talk. A new face. Do as the warden says, when she says, and you'll be fine. Oh man, I don't know if I should. Should I kill them? Because they don't know that we're here, right? I think as long as I keep the door closed, they'll be fine. This this one should be all of them, right? Communal cell lover. I hope this is all of them. Yes. That worked. Get out of here! I must make it to Baldur's Gate. I must. Wait, can I not talk to you? Oh, sh where's this at? Hello? Oh, the f it's the docks. Oh, f okay, we have to help. Damn it! I should have cleared this first before releasing them. I didn't know. Wait, let me go back. I want to make it easier on them. So Enjoy these are the, the docks. Views. This feels like it's stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. I'm afraid you missed the ship's route, so, but there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Okay, so that's how they're gonna get out the ship. Where's the ship heading? Baldur's Gate. The army marches overland, but we sent some friends ahead to smooth the way. Okay. Um, why does the Absolute want to make war with the city? Locals need to see her truth. Take their place in hard design. I mean, figure well, it's a cult. And we send them to meet the old gods they cling to. Doesn't matter much either way. What cargo are they bringing? Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the okay. symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Then you won't mind stepping aside and letting me look. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. As you Wait, bear down on his mind, you feel a pulse in response. A thousand pulses echoing from the nearby <gasps> crates. All tadpoles. tadpoles. Yeah. His mind had rejected the knowledge, forced it behind a mental wall. A wall you just took a hammer to. Worms. Worms in their heads. Worms all over. God duty is boring. You're letting your imagination run away with you. My wisdom is terrible, so. Oh my god. See, this is what. I, I, 
I'm, I'm ruining all of my inspiration. I gotta get it back somehow. <laughs> and as quickly as you tore down his defenses, you shore them back up. His mind is blank and blissfully ignorant once more. Hmm? Oh, true soon. You just missed the ship, but there'll be another one along soon. Okay, I don't want him freaking out because it's gonna draw attention. Okay, so we got one guy over here. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible to fight. No one stopped me yet. Tormentor. You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the set. Attack, attack, attack. Okay. That didn't go as planned, but it's okay. Ooh, fun. This feels good. Yep, it does. Now attack him. <laughs> All right. Wait. He's dead. Who else is attacking me? Oh, the others. Okay. That's kind of perfect. No, let them come over here. We need to attack all of them anyway. All right. This guy's still here. Oh, man. We're going to have to fight him, aren't we? I don't want to fight this dude. Maybe we can knock his ass out. He's knocked out. Okay, there we go. We got him. Because it's clear that guy was like under hypnosis. So he doesn't know what's going on, truly. How are they gonna get out of here? Oh, through here? Perfect! Let them go! Go! So this leads to the rest of- Yeah, that leads to the rest of the way. They can get out through this way. Yeah! I did it! Let me go back to the inn real quick before we head back. Because again, I don't want to talk to Catherick just yet. Let me see if I can tell, um, tell them I got their brother and sister out. Where is Roland? God damn it! He's right here. I return from the darkness itself, only to find you at ease while Cal lies dead. What in the hell did you do? Don't you dare turn this on me, Roland. Did you even try to save What Cal? happened to Cal? I won't say it again. What? Leah is alive. You should be grateful. What happened to the brother? You're right. I'm sorry. We're all we have right now. I'm sorry too. You Did I not save the brother? What happened? I thought they were right okay. Something in return. Here. I hope it helps. Thanks, but still, what the fuck happened? Oh my god. Same with these guys, are you alright? Hmm? Oh, uh, I, I don't need anything else. What is it then? You're not going to thank me for saving your life. Did I not already? How remiss of me. Here, that should cover your services. What will you do when you get out of here? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years later. Well, they didn't say that we would be friends. Food. I mean, his people. You should look so. <laughs> for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. Okay. Yeah. Can you uh, elaborate on those plans? That's Iron Hand Gnome business. You recall stories of the Iron Hand Gnomes, a talented group of inventors who were banished from Baldur's Gate. Oh. Uh... Weren't the Iron Hand Gnomes exiled from Baldur's Gate? Do not speak of a story you only know the half of. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House. I wasn't trying to be rude, I was just curious. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We're still after this day. Sevrock, the ball spawn. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Wait, is that relating to the other Baldur's Gate Gondian games? I don't know. Because I know, like, the main character of the first two are, were. Our was a bald uh, spawn, Gate will right? Usher in a new era for the Iron Hand gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our gene. I'll leave you to your own devices. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you for the money. 
Oh my god, I can't believe Cal died. Are you serious right now? That Minthara outfit that I took? Damn, son, look at me. Wait. Damn. I looking kind of good here. Wait, let me talk to Steren. Hey, Steren, you like what you see? <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm gonna keep this on for a while. Cause like, wow. I, uh... Oh. I want to thank you. Uh... For being... <laughs> For being wonderful in bed. For what you said. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow. I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. Yeah, I figured that's why. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. Right. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. Of course not! Why would I force you to do that? And I'm grateful. You're welcome. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. It's a novel concept, I admit. And, uh... A little intimidating. I imagine, because you never had that choice for so 200 to years. Her, to just go along with what I was being told to do. Right. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. That would have been wrong. The entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped Hold thinking on. Like I was his slave. Hold on. Uh Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. Asterion, it makes me wonder that you are you were seducing me so that you could just have some blood, you know? Like, low-key, I, I accepted the fact that it's probably not serious yet anyway because this is the beginning of the game, but he kind of outed himself there, didn't he? I care about you. Really? Yeah? Hello? Oh, I can hug him! Can I just hug him? Oh, oh! He really doesn't know what to do! To have someone actually care for him! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Oh, and I'm wearing this, you, like, really you're outfit. You're full of surprises, <laughs> aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. Or what comes next. Oh! so sad at the same time because he doesn't know what it's like to but i know that this be loved this is nice is it i'm glad oh my god i need to put some clothes on what am i doing oh god let me put my original clothes on i look stupid as hell so are we official now because like loki that was actually something real is there something you want to talk about my dear his, his dialogue changed. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. I'll see you tonight. He's not so flirtatious in like the way that he says that. Not this part, but the beginning, the first one. Um, can we talk about the two of us? I'm all pointy ears, my love. <laughs> Hang on, before I do that, what are we to you? I don't know, but isn't it nice not to know? I get what you're saying. Uh, uh, you're not a victim. Not a target. Not just one night it's better to forget. <laughs> but then... Whatever in the world could you be? Your girlfriend? Wait, hello? <laughs> God, you're beautiful. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> can we? <laughs> oh, I suppose we can. <laughs> Wait, can I kiss him now? Could I kiss you? How could I say no? Wait, can we just do this now? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! This is great. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> oh my god, so I mean, I think we're official. It's just I get why he's hesitant to say like what we are because he's never had that freedom, right? Of like having someone for himself. 
Oh no! <laughs> this is what I was worried about. I'm like, what about Gail? <laughs> oh, sh he's up. Uh, he's he saw everything. You know damn well he was listening to us last night. Oh no! Your cheeks are flush. There's a twinkle in your eye. I think I am no longer the cause. Gail, honey. Darian, isn't it? <laughs> I felt the tension between you. Oh I my god. Myself, it was casual, not a matter of the heart, but clearly I was wrong. Gail. You two have grown closer than I thought possible. Gail, come here. <laughs> I'm the last one. I uh, thought you would show me the respect of telling me first. But what? We were never together. Who is it to be? Are you me serious? Are you serious? Gail, Gail, we were never a thing. The casual flirting, I did it for every character, but he took it way too far. The last video, he took it way too far. I want to be with Astarian. I'm sorry. I see. Well, I suppose he does have a certain Oh charm my god, him. dude, you have to not do <laughs> I feel bad. I'll just put my feelings to one side. I think that's best for everyone. Certainly the best thing for me. I won't leave. Not unless you want me to. Or Dude, I until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Oh my god. Eventually. I'm glad to have you around, Gail. But I'm just... Oh my god. I, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel this way. Even though I was not flirting with you and I was just being nice to you this entire time. Oh my god, Gail. Worry not. I carry my regrets wherever I go, and I'm used to their weight. <laughs> this dude's well, really no, making me feel back. bad. I know Gail did not just say that to my face. God, you're beautiful. Uh, <laughs> can, can I we? kiss him out here? <laughs> I suppose we can. Wait, can we do some PDA, sir? And let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> there is nothing. <laughs> this is my I man, and I want everyone friend. to know. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dead shadow heart in the background was like, oh god, please. Okay, the problem now is do I talk to Kethrick before getting the relic or get the relic and then talk to the guy? I don't know what to do here. So I'm gonna go there, talk to him, see if that triggers anything, and if it does, I'll stop and go back. Wouldn't head into the main hall if I were you. Zarell and Kethrick are working on some poor worm. Who's the poor worm? Oh, fuck you, I'm going in here. Wait, who is in here? This dude, Squire? Considering all that is at stake, considering how close we Damn, are what kind of dog does he have? Our efforts, so this I is him, huh? Why am I here? I don't see Mole or any of them. Where are they at? Wait, close the door. <laughs> Wait, I gotta find the kid. Where is she? Okay, I made sure I look everywhere, but I can't find the kid. Let me see what happens if I talk to Catholic and then, you know, like I said, I'll reload if I have to. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Oh, that's Ass. what they're doing. No, no, it was Minthara. She got the orders. She. Oh, and I Enough. killed Minthara. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles, worms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Don't kill them, the loyal followers of abs. Let's let- Oh god, I feel bad for doing this, but I need to see what they're up to. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. Oh, shit. You have seen what these <laughs> creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't oh, this is so cool, JK Simmons. What is it's... your judgment? What you is my know judgment? I'm loyal. Tell him. 
Dude, I don't know Enough. you. True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Attack the halfway game of journal. That's a stupid move. I saw the horrors they committed in the absolute's name. Thank you. I'm glad someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. He's got some cool ass armor Kill too. Them Damn. Quickly. Oh, uh. What? No! You creaking old bag of s. <laughs> That's not gonna work, remember? Jahira tried that. <laughs> the music. Oh, f I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Damn, what a badass! Holy crap! <laughs> That's why they need the relic, right? That's probably his weakness anyway! <laughs> Damn! Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. Holy sh**! You we have, have the general. Oh, the goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Um, I'll just nod. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Uh, Report okay. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah, sure, okay. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! This- Ah, I was hoping I wouldn't do this in front of Catherine, because now he's gonna see it. And if I free them or anything, he's gonna be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Let me see if I- Oh god, not another word. In fact, not another breath from any of you. I'm sorry, Karlak. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Help me! I, it's not that I want to do this, but like, Catherine Thorne's standing Let's right go, there. Cizarel. And mind you, don't slip in the goblin guts. The seat of the absolute power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. Wait, did he leave? But his followers are flesh and blood. Wait, did I not have to kill him? He left. We oh. must learn more about his power. Oh, crap. These goblins were killing innocent people, though, so it's like it's not like they were completely innocent. You know, they ravaged the whole towns around, remember? So, I don't know. I'll just take that in case. Can I sit in this? Is this weird? From this seat. <laughs> <laughs> not saying anything and raised an army for the absolute it is not particularly comfortable oh gracious one it is a pleasure to be in your mighty sanctuary. <laughs> oh my god i know damn relisterians into role play uh anyway <laughs> What the hell is this? Druids meddling and meddlesome. I have a history with them and it makes me way of under underestimating them. They will certainly not welcome the rise of the absolute in their vicinity, or it could become a significant obstacle if we don't find a way to take them out of play. I speak here, for starters, of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can, perhaps, be neutralized from within. Druids, by very nature, do not smile. Yanthus values a balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general. An extreme of these uh, expresses by the faction historically known as Shadow Druids, for who favor complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the illest civilization. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate them with gifts, with intimidating them with threats, and then encourage them to see what the wisest, most prudent course is for the Druid circles, to stand neutral as the army of the Absolute marches in the blighted cities of civilized. 
despite Zorel's, uh, despite Zorel shall select an appropriate agent to parlay with the Shadow Druid's leader. Eventually, all shall be infected with tadpoles. So they were trying to go after the other druids. Who the hell are these people? Oh, I imagine Catholic Thorm is in here, maybe? What's in the other room? Nothing really, right? Just a scrying eye in the corner. And then this room. Oh god. Oh, this is so creepy. Can I go in here? For oh, it's locked! We can't go in there. I don't want to lockpick just yet because people are watching. Open up. Yeah, these are all locked. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Okay, so he's at the very Even top. Disciples, Rel? Everyone, keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Ah, oh, so I can't disguise as Rel, I think. Timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet, show me. Uh, Her okay. mind enters yours abruptly. Oh damn! Across your memories in a blaze of excitement. This person is going to be a lot of problems for us. Spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Yeah, I guess so. Haha. <laughs> A waste of my time. I didn't come here to clean up other people's mistakes. Your confidence is delicious. <laughs> I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. Girl, stay away from me. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. Oh, she's making sure she's that I am. searching for proof of your faith. Persuasion, distract your- <laughs> Your lust for a starian! Fake it! No, I want to do this with, with the star- I want to see what starian's gonna say! Hang on now. My, my. Your lust for the neck pricker is succulent. I'd like to take a bite out of him myself. No, no, that's good. With the absolute. Your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. That's I cool, but I'm I'm to fine with the presence. story. <laughs> it was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Everything? What exactly do you want? To take without asking. To feel without doubting. I hate this camera angle because I'm too small and you can't see me behind her fur. In a word. <laughs> On her freaking coat. Freedom? Your only purpose is to serve Catherick and the Absolute. I choose to serve, and I'm glad to. Your words are dangerously close to heresy, true soul. Hmm. My words were too a test of your fate. I, at two, am glad to serve. As you should be. <laughs> and you have an opportunity to impress General Thorm. I have a mission for you. There is a relic that General okay. Thorm requires. Good, he so it's all coming together. Advisor, this makes me feel a lot better. Balthazar to retrieve it. Right. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. What exactly was the relic he was sent to retrieve? It is something that General Thorne Because he didn't tell us either. And that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. Damn it. You said you lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. I aided me in the underdog. He sought the same thing Balthazar does. Yes, and he failed to find it. Little wonder he hasn't returned here. We learned that You've Balthazar seen killed how the him, so. deals with incompetence. They bleed. No doubt he's chasing after Balthazar in the dark. I hope he finds him. They're likely to tear one another to pieces. If they do, Balthazar will pull himself back together again. Nia won't. 
His usefulness has expired. Yikes. But your utility to our cause has only just begun. Well, what if Balthazar is dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Okay, I'll just say, understood, I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep I don't want to give them hungry. any more information than I have You'll to. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. Oh, <gasps> an extra moon lantern. Cry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Hmm. Which is his room, though? Which is his room? Is it this one? Bumpers are rising. Oh, it's not this one. Okay, I don't. I don't know which one it is. Who are you? It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation, save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. Yeah, well, clearly we can't just yet. I've heard of those lucky few that came back changed. You are already changed, true soul. Hearing her voice is what brought you here. But above, you will stand in her very presence. She Such actually there? I wonder what that means. I'm kind of scared, though. Well Damn it, my insight! <laughs> to earn that honor. What's with the skeletons? Does the absolute dabble in necromancy now? Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall, and I find use for even the fallen. Okay. I hope that is some comfort to you. Okay, so this is where we need to be eventually. I don't know where Balthazar's room is. You guys didn't give me like a thing though. Like, is it, is it this one? Oh, okay, yeah, it, it is. Damn, what the f- Oh my god! Can we just close this door so I can snoop around? Oh my god! Ew! Okay, let me see what we got. Maybe we can learn something about this weirdo. My library is not to be tampered with. I'm going through this stuff. I don't care. That's curious. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Hang on, we're just gonna take everything he has. <gasps> oh, you asshole! It was a trap! The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. The symbols are striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they mean. Oh, I Without need a cipher or Lizelle. primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Investigate. Yeah, I'm too stupid for this, I figured. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. You should take the disc to Lazelle. Yep. She might know more. We'll talk to her, it. don't worry. So Mole and Zevlor are nowhere to be found. I don't know where they went. Maybe they're on the rooftop? That's the only place I could think of because I've been everywhere here. Her helmet's on, sorry guys. <laughs> the disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tissu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. What? The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's. But it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Who the F is that? I understand. Keep it to yourself. It is for the best. I don't want to push it on her, you know what I mean? Because, like, I, I have her trust right now and I don't want to overstep it. But I wonder if that's relating to what the queen was talking about. Like, us wanting to go into the prism. Like, it's related to our guardian. I have a feeling it is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So I'm really glad I, I did this correctly. I was nervous, and I'm like, I don't wanna go to the eyes and miss something. So I can still go back. Now we officially just need to get the relic 
and deal with Kethor Thorn, but oh my god, he's very intimidating. And I kind of see why they casted J.K. Simmons to voice him. It's a good casting. But yeah, I don't know where Zevlor is. Can't find him and I can't find Mole, so we're, th those two are still missing. But on top of that, we progressed our relationship with Asterion, so like we're dating, but like he doesn't know what we are. He does because he does, he, you know, he's still sensitive about it, but it's okay because I can tell now he's like being genuine when he's talking. It makes so much sense. Like I, I can kind of see that, like the way he was flirting with us just because he needed blood. You know, he's trying to be nice to us and then it just turned into a thing. So it makes me wonder if he feels bad for like low key lying. But then again, I feel like my character wasn't like being serious anyway. I was flirting with everybody, but at least we let Gale know. <laughs> I feel bad for letting him down, but that, that's the second time I shot him down. But at least now he knows for sure we're just friends. That's all we are. <laughs> but now um, we have to go through the temple of Shar and deal with the gauntlet. And I'm a little bit nervous because Shadowheart was acting weird when we were down there. So I don't know what's going to happen when we reach to the end. But yeah, I'm glad I played this correctly in terms of letting the prisoners free. Because I was worried like I'm going to miss something if I hit the temple. So hopefully it's good. But we'll see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Baldur's Gate 3, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!